Hi everyone, welcome back to Baby Vlogs. It's been a really long time since we've done one of these. Um, this is actually probably going to be the last Baby Vlog. Um, and then we'll transition maybe into some other stuff with the girls. Um, for anybody that hasn't heard, the, the girls have both arrived. Um, give a bit of an update on how that all came to be and what happened with everything and and um, just kind of some general updates and see so uh, we went in October 16th for just kind of a routine checkup with Janelle and her doctor um, and Janelle's blood pressure was really high uh, like 190 over 101 high and so they decided that um, it was time for um, time to do a c-section because she was preeclamptic and so the girls ended up being born I guess we didn't go on the 16th we went on the 17th the girls were born on the 17th um, ooh, real dark stand like this um, so yeah we, we had a semi-emergency c-section on the 17th to help with Janelle's blood pressure um, and then that went well. Girls um, came out fine. I'm trying to remember, I think Parker was like four pounds. Four pounds. Where's hold on? Let me look. Let me look. I have a cheat sheet. So Parker was. 4 pounds 10 ounces and 17 and a half inches and Riley was 4 pounds 12 ounces and 16 inches uh, when they were they were born um, they ended up spending about two weeks um, in the NICU up at community just learning how to feed and uh, maintaining weight and temperature and all that which they did great um, Janelle had a bit of a rougher trip through the whole process. So um, at the start of her third trimester, she ended up with a bit of a kidney infection. Um, and they were able to resolve it with antibiotics and that. But uh, she had been on antibiotics for about six weeks prior to the, the C-section. And so even though it's an antibiotic that... Um, shouldn't have led to this. What happened is she ended up getting a C. diff infection um, <clears throat> which is causes colitis and lack of appetite and in hospitals it's a a pretty nasty deal just because the main population at risk are immunocompromised people or people on long-term antibiotics and so with that she ended up having to go into isolation up in the medical surgical unit and so she wasn't able to see the girls for about four days she ended up getting discharged Monday the 31st and the girls got out of the NICU Tuesday the 30 no she got out Monday the 30th they got out Tuesday the 31st so they came home on Halloween um, they're doing great uh, they're just over a month old now. Both have gained two pounds since since they were born. Uh, Parker, she's six pounds eleven ounces, and Riley six pounds two ounces. So they both gained about two pounds. Um, so yeah, they're eating well. Um, everything here's going good. Um, ooh, dark living room. Let's see if I can open up the windows a little bit here, get some light in. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. So, I will flip this around. So this is Parker. Say hi, Parker. Yeah, so... She's pretty mellow, easy going. 
And then over here is Riley waving at everybody. She's she can be a little bit more of a handful so far, but they're both pretty good. They're both sleeping um, three to four hours in between feedings. Uh, we just got done feeding them. They're just kind of looking around at the moment. Um, we Last night they actually had a nice five-hour stretch where they slept. So, yeah, they're both both doing good. Just relaxing. So, yeah. So, oh. my, my plan with all this, if people want, is to kind of end the baby vlogs now that um, they were born and, and everything has happened with that. Um, and kind of switch to maybe like a weekly vlog where I'll put together kind of what happened you know bits and pieces of what we do within a week um, and make a, a little video like that and upload once a week which I should be able to maintain a little bit better um, I already have some footage that I've started putting together they had a photo shoot um, uh, and they had the photo shoot Thursday they had a photo shoot Thursday um, so we'll have some photos from that which will be really nice um, and uh, Sarah and Cody are on their way out here for Thanksgiving which will be fun to have them here and then I think the plan we've been wanting to take the girls out but we're not supposed to take them out in mass public for very long and have a bunch of interaction just because they're little and uh, early immune systems and all that type of stuff but the plan is to do a real quick run up to Missoula on Friday and try to um, minimize their contact, but maybe try to do um, photos with Santa um, and see how that goes. But other than that, everyone's doing well. Janelle's bouncing back. Um, if anybody has any questions, comments, leave them down below. And if people want, I'll probably upload one um, vlog here after with some photos or some video of the photo shoot and maybe the Santa and maybe some Thanksgiving stuff. Um, and then after that, if people are interested, I'll keep with it. If not, then we'll try something else or, or see what people want. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for going through the journey with us. Um, thanks for all your support, and we will see you later. Bye.